What's up world? Another on the phone and in the car video to all the entrepreneurs out there, aspiring entrepreneurs, startup businesses, and the pros. Easy message for today, you have to keep track of everything that you do, especially where your revenue comes from. What do I mean by that? There's lots of tools out there, depending on your platform of, of uh, your business and your business model, you could be using applications such as Square, or you could be making Excel files that are um, cater that act just like Square. Now, how does an app like Square, an Excel file that you should make, uh, what should it track and what's it supposed to do? It's very simple. You need to track one, every single customer you have, their phone number, their email, their address possibly. Um, that's optional, but I still do recommend the address, and I'll tell you why in a bit. Um, obviously, the first and last name. So you're, suppo you're supposed to track all that. Now, moving forward with every single customer, every time they, if it's a new customer, you sign them up, you put in their information, and you track what they purchase. Next time they come back, you pull up that customer, and you track what they purchase. You have your packages outlined, and you, you, uh, you, uh, you have your prices outlined as well. And it's all tracking, and over time, if you repeatedly do this on a daily basis, customer comes in, hello customer, if you're a restaurant, it's different, you don't need the customer name or anything like that, but um, if it's a service or a product, um, just any way of tracking customer, what they purchased, how much they spent, um, when you look at the grand picture, there's analytics at the end. All you have to do is put in the date range. Let's say I wanna look at all of March. Okay, all of March, these are all the transactions I had. These are all the customers. These are what they bought. This was the um, highest selling package. This was the lowest selling package. Because I have the address, this is where I get the most business. Oh, I'm in Windsor, not Amherstburg, or whatever city you're from. It shows the areas are very concentrated. So at the end of the year, when you simply, every single day, all you gotta do is put in customer and what they purchase, at the end of the year, you could look at everything from month by month, quarter by quarter, week by week, full year, year by year. You can make that comparison and you'll have this huge concentration diagram of where am I getting the most customers? Well, it's the end of the year. We understand that we have a huge customer database in one area. Well, you know what? Now it's time for us to expand. We need to understand why we don't have it in this area over here. Going forward, we have three packages we offer or we have three products that we offer. Um, why is it that this package is succeeding and we understand why, we love it, we keep it there, but why are we not selling the others? or it allows you just the beauty of having it in front of you, mind blows you. I'll tell you this, it's so, e I'll tell you this, it's very simple. It's, it's, it's easy to kind of like state, yeah, I know how I'm tracking, I know I'm doing good, whatever, ever. But when it's in front of you, you'll be shocked. The other day I was so shocked because I was logging everything in and what I do is I log in also the discounts that I give. So with same with the customer, what they purchase, any additional items they purchase, did I give them a discount, and then uh, so forth and so on. Um, and when I looked at my total discounts that I've given over the last month, I've given $1,200 worth in discounts. And I was absolutely shocked. Now, it, it doesn't affect me that much. Like, I'm not dying, oh my God, I can't believe I get 1,200. I, I don't regret it whatsoever. However, I didn't realize how much I actually gave away. As, and I'm not gonna limit myself. I just, need, I just need to kind of understand, all right, cool. This amount of discounts that I gave, that was a significant amount. You know what, I could have invested it into a new piece of equipment, like a new van that I'm just getting. So, if. I know I'm gonna go through a spree of giving out discounts, I should time it better. I know I'm gonna give in a matter of three weeks $1,200 worth of discounts. So if I'm planning on making a purchase, all right, I'm not gonna give any discounts until I make the purchase, then, or then, you know, it's all about timing, right? I was so shocked, guys, you're not gonna believe it. So I'm gonna wrap it up all by saying this, is that either make your own Excel sheet or get an app like Square, or they have, there's so many other apps out there. Um, you know, programs that offer the same thing. The most important part of it all is that it's useless if you don't use it, okay? Make it in a way, set yourself up in a way that it's a piece of cake. 
Hello customer, thank you for the transaction. Pop up my phone, your name, your phone number, uh, what you just purchased, how much I just charged you, submit, done. Or when you come home or to your office, you pull up your laptop, fill in the blanks on your Excel file. So I'll give you an example just to wrap up this whole, um, uh, this whole um, video. What my Excel file looks like. It starts off with, uh, what the hell does it start off with? I think it's, it's uh, um, customer. it starts off with customer, okay? So first name, last name, it gives phone number, then it gives uh, email, if available, address if available. Then it goes to which package it purchases. Now I got, or no, no, it doesn't go to that. Then it goes to projects. So I do cars, boats, RVs. So you have to select either cars, boats, or RVs. What are the customer want? You wanted a car. Then we have three other options, interior, exterior, or in and out. You have to select one of those. Then my CP Express, CP Premium, or CP Valet package. Then additional items. Did they, did they buy a package and then did they buy something else? Pop that in there. Oh, before the additional packages, after the CP Express, I put in price. Then I put in additional packages. Then I put in price of the additional packages. Then I go to discount. I put in, did I put in a discount? Then tax, was tax charged? As always they do. You gotta always charge a tax, guys. And then um, you gotta track that. You gotta track how much tax you actually, cause that way when you go to your accountant later on, it's like, here, boom, I, tra I taxed. Um, there's some X amount of dollars, right? It's all there. You don't have to look back at receipts or anything like that or invoices. Um, so after tax, then comes, um, then my mathematics happens. It shows me uh, subtotal, a total revenue, total profit, which is all formulated, right? You do like your revenue minus, um, oh, before that, I'm sorry, backtrack. Before that, it goes costs, like employee costs, material costs, all the costs associated for that job line item, then I have everything. What I charge, what I cost, then it, it calculates for me my revenue and profit, and that's it, it gives me my total and it all tracks it in there. Um, so it's just that simple. I know it sounds like a lot when I'm saying it over a video, but guys, really, it's it's so simple. And when I want to go to log in like a customer, especially because I'm like bang, 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 bang all day long, it's just a matter of like type name. Boom, 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 I'm done, right? It's gonna pay off, we'll do a follow-up video, I will do a follow-up video at the end of the year and I'll show you all the analytics and how powerful of a tool it is to really assess your business. So guys, enjoy that. I know it's a little bit of a longer one, I know I like keeping it nice and short, but I'm emphasizing you got to do it. You have to, have to, have to, have to do it. I know the old school guys out there, they hate it, but I'm telling you, if you're paused and you're not scaling up, this is just one tool of the many that will allow you to realize and open up your eyes like, holy shit, I need to make some changes. I can clearly see what I need to change. So that's my message to you guys. We'll keep you guys in touch. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Rockin' the green. I am an entrepreneur. Damn, let me take off this seat belt. I am an entrepreneur. Proud to say that as it backwards in the video. I really hope it's not, but you get the point. We'll catch you guys later. See ya. Let's help each other grow. Bye-bye.